Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true dot of Wilkama. To 13 Remaster, but don't panic. This is not the Terrible 13 Remastered, or the Terrible 13 Remastered, uh, the remake. No, 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 no. The way I figure it is, uh, if you want something done properly, you've got to do it yourself. So I decided uh, the only possible way we're going to get a good Remastered 13 is if I make it myself. Which is what I've done, and I'm going to show you how to do it too. So, what you do, is you go and buy the original 13 on Steam. And then you realise, uh, well, you know what? It was pretty much a perfect game, not really anything we can improve, uh, so we're not really going to be making any substantial mechanical changes. Brilliant, fantastic starting point. Meaning, uh, the only thing we need to do is get it running at a good modern resolution in a 16x9 aspect ratio. But fortunately, back in these days, uh, games were 90% text files. So I just went into one of the configuration files uh, and told the game to run it in 1080p. Then I just slightly increased the field of view. And in doing so, I have created a version of 13 that runs on modern PCs uh, in modern aspect ratios uh, at modern resolutions. You're welcome. And as a special treat today, I'm going to play some of it. So, as you can see straight away, it runs perfectly smoothly and looks absolutely flipping beautiful. Let's just get ourselves a throwing knife, by the way, and pop that in the back of your head. And I'm going to be imagining you're about here, buddy. You just hold still. Thank you. Just look at that. The animation, the frame rate, genuinely smoother than the actual new version over there. The art style just holds together so nicely. The colours just make a lot more sense. It's not a gaudy mess. This looks absolutely fine. But you know what? You guys have seen this level multiple times already. And the opening section, the bank, all the rest of it. I've played 13 on this channel a lot. In large part because they keep releasing terrible versions of it. So how about instead we move forward a tiny bit, just to show off how bloody good this game still is. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten this beautiful, beautiful way the levels are introduced by the way, where, because yes, this is a comic book game, at the start of each level, when you're being given the objectives, you can look around, but only through whichever panel is currently like the active panel, it's just, okay, it doesn't really mean anything. But it's kind of beautiful and unique and no other game does this. And obviously it didn't make it into the remaster because it was good and thus had no place in that monstrosity. So just step forward and just look at that. The other panels uh, fade away, you zoom in on the active panel and all of a sudden just everything's beautiful. Anyway, let's just, uh, as I say, skip over things a little bit here. So we're just going to visit a bank. And then, uh, once we're done with that, we're going to ever so slightly explode bank, dear oh flipping dear. Police aren't going to be desperately happy about that, which is probably going to get us arrested in a second. But, no problem, escape police, diddly diddly dee, you've seen all this before. And here to my mind is kind of the start of the game proper. This is the Emerald Army base. The first two levels are kind of tutorials, uh, to my mind, introducing some basics. This here... This is where the game kicks off proper, and also we're just going to be uh, enjoying zooming in from whatever panel is highlighted when you actually start moving. Oh yeah, that there, that's nice. So okay, this here, as I say, this is where things start as they should do. Where we start learning what this game's all about, which is uh, this game is a hybrid stealth shooter. And one that gives you a lot of flexibility as to your approach. Which you can tell because the game is simultaneously starting you off with the very loud destructive shotgun. And on top of that, the silenced crossbow. Slow, not particularly powerful unless you're getting the headshots, but completely silent. So, yeah. All of a sudden, you've got yourself choices. Also, just FYI, this game has, like, the most vicious, brutal visceral sniping headshots in any game ever and I kind of love it for it. So I'm just going to... Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. And now somebody is uh, very much alert, but thanks to, yes, the fact I'm uh, holding still, they're not 100% sure. All right, I can see footsteps represented as tap, tap, tap. Not if you're running, you only get it if you are crouching or standing still. Now we do have this basic pistol, it's not very good, but screw it, you do need to, yep, you need to go down, buddy, headshot for you, 
And now they definitely know where I am, so probably. Shotgun. Stand still for a sec. I'll see the tap, tap, tap. I know when they're coming around the corner. And there we go. You're nice and dead. Beautiful. First three, go down. But yeah, doing that entirely sneaky. Gonna be tricky, potentially. Let's just... You see, just look at the range some of these lads have. It is slightly ridiculous. And hold still. Gosh darn it, that's not going to be good enough. So, okay, how about we just, uh, yeah, pop up and no, you don't. There we go, much better. Do not get caught out in the open. You will die. You will take an awful, awful large amount of damage. Health doesn't regenerate. And yes, you need to use instead uh, med packs doing, I think at the start of the game, basic med pack is like... 25 damage i can't recall but yeah basically also no saving or anything no 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 let's not be uh let's not be ridiculous here if you die you go back to the nearest checkpoint sniper weapons up and right there boom vicious right in the head that little cutaway panel it's so beautiful just so so beautiful who else do we have okay so, step one, infiltrate the base. Slow, easy. I see someone way up there. That's a sniper too. Okay, just wait a second. If I hold still while crouching, my aim will steady. Then I just need to wait for him to hold. Uh, then we'll get him. There he goes. Sniper taken care of. Good, 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 good. I, like, mostly remember this, but also not entirely. So, step one, we got ourselves, uh, yes, a bridge that needs to be reactivated. Let's get the power back on. All right, we're going in with the big guns. Reload. Okay, pretty sure you guys are dead now. Stop. Listen. Look for footprints. There. No, you don't. You got any friends? Oh, right. oh hang on. You got some friends. Uh, okay, arrived a day late and a dollar short for all of this, but bare minimum, uh, got myself a beautiful... Yes, 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 yes. Body armor. Basically, that just takes damage uh, and my health doesn't. So that there's good and also... Well, this ain't my first video game. I know what we need to do here. Oh, here come the reinforcements, by the way. So may as well... Oh, blimey. Gonna be honest, didn't work out quite as well as I was hoping for there. And Okay, just, just... Give me a second, buddy. No, no, no. Watch out for their body armor. Their body armor is uh, legit. Like, if they're wearing a helmet, that means uh, you can't shoot them in the head. Headshots won't do a thing. Also, just look how bloody fast. Okay, that, that went worse. I kind of knew that ambush was coming, but even then, sort of fluffed it. Still, I got the helmet back off this guy. It's all, it's all under control. It's all going to be absolutely fine. Yes, weapons do have uh, two fire modes. So the secondary fire mode of the crossbow is obviously just the zoom in, which is fine. But yes, uh, for hang about. The assault rifle, it's a grenade launcher, but you need to have separate grenade ammo to actually use the damn thing. Whereas what's the shotgun? Is it just a rifle box? Yeah, that's just a melee attack, which can be useful. There's some more meds, and there's the AR grenades. That's the... Oh, blimey. No. John, you're not using the right weapon right now. Not using the right weapon at all. Okay, one. The range of this is pretty good. Not good enough. It knocked up his helmet, though, so that's nice. Excuse me. Please die. Go for the body shots. There we go. Anyone else? Oh, we've definitely got trouble, by the way. That was a good med kit. That was a proper full one. Anyone else around? The you. And that should... Again, knocked off his helmet, didn't do much else. But, you know, we got plenty of health, so it's fine. Yes, I'm a bit out of practice with this game. So, my grenade arcing skills are not 100%. Right, get the power back on to the bridge. Get back down. Are we reloaded? Yes, and I've also got a grenade, just in case. We got... Oh! Right, that was definitely a kill that time. Love it. Oh! Also, you exist. Sorry, my mistake. And there we go. Power restored. The levels are quite small, by the way. And the checkpoints are not too far apart. So as a result of that, the game can be pretty bloody hardcore. Because basically it was about figuring out the best way to go from one checkpoint to the next. So I'm going to do, yeah, one more health kit to 94. Still got some. Oh. Somebody was just a little bit surprised by me there. Was it a sniper? Yeah, it was. It was a sniper. And go. Lovely. And... Uh, he doesn't fall off the cliff, though, which is a bit sad. Okay, it's all, it's all under control. 
That's fine. There's probably going to be. There's definitely people in this area. You know what? Screw it. It's fine. We're going to take you out. And we're going to take you out. And we know there's a second person because you were talking to someone. Conversations are useful. Right. That went pretty well. Get here. Get all the ammo. Get more. That's the crossbows we need. Okay. Now we can keep on sniping. That's you guys dead. And now we move straight on up. And when I say straight on up, I do mean literally straight on up. Because we're going up. So just go over to my lovely hook at that point. Yes, my fire and alternative fire are up and down. Then we just drop you off, get around here, help myself to a few more bits and pieces, uh, smash this, and that's the level complete. Literally, hang on, there's a few more down there. Don't care about them, to be honest. Could snipe them off, but I don't need to, because this here, this is the end of the area. So literally, that entire level is uh, just walk around this road, uh, ambush in there, over the bridge, tiny two last people, use the hook, and up to the end. But because they're so small, they can be brutally hard. But here's where stuff gets sexy, because, yeah, this game took stealth seriously. Just occasionally, there was a level where the game said, you know what? If anyone detects you, they're going for the nearest alarm. If the alarm gets set off, that's it, you failed. Which doesn't even mean you actually need to be super sneaky. Like, if you want to run around with a shotgun and blast everyone before they get to the alarm, you're welcome to do so. And at some point, I will be doing so. Not like by design, though. Let's pretend it was by design. Purely because, yeah, this game is hard and the enemies are perceptive. So, we need to clear out this area nice and silent. And this is one of my favourite levels in the entire game. It's great. Deactivate the four main generators. They're pumping 10,000 volts through those ladders. So that's what we need to do. Deactivate four generators, uh, try to avoid getting spotted, uh, and yes, ammo is uh, persistent. So you might want to save ammo from one level into the next. I was deliberately not doing too much sniping in the first place because now it means I've got lots of ammunition. So this area, there are not too many guards because uh, yes, every individual guard is uh, a little bit on the terrifyingly dangerous side, given, yeah, how perceptive uh, they can be. And I can't remember where they all are. And also, the enemies are, you know, placed intelligently. There are buildings. Obviously, the buildings are where most of the enemies are going to... I know what's that. That, by the way, is very nice. They're silent, too. Alright. I know you're nearby. I don't know whether you can actually see through all. Oh. You see that there? That's an alert. So now he's going oh. for the thing. That was the best shot I will ever make with a knife. If he got to this button, that would have been it. Mission over. Back over there. Start again, you loser. So let's pretend I did that intentionally. Because it was pretty bloody badass right there. So okay. Next up. We got ourselves a building Someone's right here. Mm -hmm. And we know from the fact people are talking, there's at least two got people me. in here. Oh. This is, no, this here, this is... Really, really should have reloaded before we did that. So you guys are now dead. Lock picking, by the way, yes, you can do, but it's very slow. We'll get better and faster as the game goes on. So next up, just break you. Break you. Generator number one. I'm so sorry about your head, by the way. Alright, crouch, move forward, uh, start learning where the enemies are. Just sort of tap, tap, tap over here. Alright. You're going to be coming all the way around the corner. And you alone. Bear in mind, of course, tap, tap, tap tells you the direction they're walking in. Meaning you can get behind them to line up a nice, easy shot. Now you're walking away, aren't you? I think you're walking in like a square. Yes, you are. He's going to come there. He's going to walk along here. And when we know he's here, we are going to knife him right in the back of the head. And it's going to be beautiful. And then I'm going to miss. And then we're going to panic and uh, so on and so forth. But it's all going to be okay in the end. All right, just wait for the tap, tap, tap to wear off here. And beautiful. He did start moving. But it just about... Oh, I see you, buddy. I see you. Okay, there's one over there. And wait. And right between the eyes. Nobody's yelling, ALERT! So I think I got away with that. 
And as you guess, of course, yeah, this was back in the days when video games treat you like a grown-up. So, the game says, uh, break the four generators, but there's no map, there's no compass, there's no little red markers indicating where the generators are. You need to figure out where the generators are, but obviously, generators, you know, electricity and uh, important. So, you just have to reasonably intuit they're going to be in buildings uh, that are marked like this, with uh, the red flashy light and the danger of death nonsense going on. Same for enemies, no compass, no anything, you just sort of have to figure it out for yourself, damn it. Okay. I hear an electronic buzzing, so yes, I believe this is all. Two enemies. Yeah, the tip, 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 and... I think this is a good moment. This was maybe a... Okay, that's you, Dad. And... Find a way in. What the? Oh, sorry, 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 my bad, my bad, that was, that was, he was mildly surprised, but it's all fine, that's, that's okay, this here is, uh, yes, where we need to go ultimately, this is the, yes, that's the ladder, we need to climb up the electro ladder, but only after we've, uh, yes, taken care of uh, the generators, so that was two in the first section, and I believe there's, uh, two more in the next section. This was the easy bit. Alright, this here, this, not so bad. Other section, much scarier, if I'm remembering right. Yeah, this section, right here. I see you at the back. I see more people over here. Right. The trick's gonna be, people need to die in a position where they don't see their friends. So, potentially, yes, if I could get the other door open... Coming in the side of the barracks and uh, knifing or otherwise uh, crossbowing people while they're nice and uh, hidden uh, out of the way. That might be the better option. As might be doing this section first, because this section is uh, painful. A little bit anyway. You know, we're at the end here. There we go. There's one blinking light, so that's one. There's a good area to hide right here. Now, are you the guy I saw at the end? So I saw one guy at the end, but I think he might be going all the way up and down. I see you, buddy. Okay, I could probably take you down now. But would you... Ooh, would your friend notice? That guy, when he's right at the end... You know what? This might be a good time to just take him down. He feels fairly isolated right there. I didn't see anyone else. Yeah, okay, that's you, Dad. You're about to come here, aren't you, buddy? I think if we take this guy out right here... It's gonna be... Oh, oh. I'm really hoping no one sees that. Okay, I'm going over to shotgun. Because if someone sees that body and yells, ALERT! Which is what they do. Then, at that point, things are gonna start getting nasty. I think this guy's just going backwards and forwards by this tank. So... There we go. Nice knife in the head. Nice and quiet. Okay. I think that's a good start right there. Whoever's inside this shed just gets blasted. Because I'm not seeing any other movement here. Where's the second truck? Okay, Which never mind. Later? There's definitely movement here. Let them for Let's just crack this open. And then we're just going to blast these guys. Alright, we're just going to blast them. And go, 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 go. Dead. Nice. Before they could react. But if they got to the button, that would have been bad. Okay, everything's still fun. This area is beautiful, but it's also terrifying. And I'll be having a hat too. You see, the game is not treating it like this is a pure sneak section. It's giving you armor. It's giving you ammo. It's fully aware that you could just try and blast this and it might well work. Because this game, it gives you options. There's clearly, you know, an optimal... Oh, blimey. You know, an optimal solution here. But... Please don't notice me. He's dead around the back of that. And if we're lucky, that's the last guy. Sneak, check, move, etc. Seeing anybody else. And I think I see the last one right there. Which you might be able to do actually indirectly. I never even thought about this. But oh, I see you, buddy. I see you. If I just do this. Alright, then just keep doing this. 
and then just keep doing this. That actually works. I'd never even thought about that before today. You could just come in here, take out that one guy, go up here, break that, come in here with the crossbow, then just, uh, yeah, aim here. Three crossbow bolts get you that, and then you could just leave this area without anybody else dying. This game. This game was a thing of beauty and sexiness. So, that done, sneaky downy, and into the base proper we go. Brilliant level. Still, next up, back to business as usual. I need to uh, find uh, somebody, sell, uh, free one of my friends. Uh, so now it's kind of up to you whether you want to play super sneaky, because you yeah, have still got tons of uh, knives or all the rest of it, or whether you'd rather go into absolute wacky murder mode. So uh, what we're going to do is what everybody does in this game, which is uh, we're going to start off saying we're going to be all sneaky-like, and then what we're going to do when it all goes to hell is go over to the shotgun and you've just seen something, haven't you? Okay, so, you know, the, the sneaky murder mode didn't take, didn't take too long to... No, 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 no. They've got lots of armor, by the way. And as I say, you've got to be paying attention to what they are and aren't wearing. Helmets mean do not go for headshot. Body armor means uh, don't go for body shots. Both means, uh, okay, you know what? You just need to uh, do a fair bit of murder. That's that's all a okay. Anybody. Okay, we're being a bit uh, golden eye facility all of a sudden, but it turns out no trouble at all. If I get some uh, grenades at some point, that's all fine too. But yeah, the game's completely fine with you sneaking around, uh, using knives, uh, crossbows, uh, all the rest of it. Or you could just say, you know what? No, I can't be bloody bothered. If you're feeling super sneaky, just... Get a shard of glass and use that as a throwing star. And it's a one-hit kill if it hits the head. Assuming the head is not protected by a helmet, in which case it would take out the helmet. So uh, this game's just full of uh, options. There's a grenade. Uh, not the sort for this thing, unfortunately. But still, a grenade. Can't say no to that. Oh, I remember this area. Yep. So, I've got to use the grapple to lower myself through an electricity grid. Got to tell you what, I've got a better idea. I see people just right below me. So, how about we just start uh, exploding them? They are aware of the uh, grenades, unfortunately. The enemy are smart enough to try and get out the way. In fact, I'd say what I've done there is I've killed one, and the rest of them now most definitely know I'm coming. As soon as this goes off, there we go. Lower, 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 lower. Now, if there's anyone who needs murdering, check for anything. I know there's more people in here. Unless I got really lucky with uh, the grenade thing, but okay, just lower, 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 lower. Yeah, I figured it might be. I figured it might be. I figured it might be right. Just disconnect. Go over to my thing. Get into a bit of cover over. Oh, they're tossing grenades now too. Honestly, that worked out pretty well. Oh, and I suspect we've got uh, trouble in cover. Oh, yeah. They're storming the place now. They're storming the place. Right, grab the key card. Uh, but bear in mind, I've got... Hang on, where are they? Where are they coming in? They're going to be coming in right here. All right, just get you into position. And now get this ready. Fall back. Prepare. Oh, they're just waiting for me, are they? Okay, good. Appreciate that. And they're going to be holding still, so my tap, tap, tap meter is uh, not useful. There we go. No. Dead. And number two. You had less armors. That's fine. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing health fast, by the way. No. Didn't reload either. Really should have done that. Reloading. Very useful. And I think we found our man. Magnificent. So all we need to do now is is get him out. And this is where this gamer, yes, changes gear a bit. You see, General Carrington must all of a sudden not die. Meaning we can't really be too sneaky because Carrington's determined to run ahead like a cocking idiot. So all of a sudden, yes, we've got the big, bangy, explosion-y bit of the mission. So I really hope you bothered bringing a whole bunch of med packs because otherwise uh, things are going to start getting nasty fast. Because, yes, now there's going to be enemies everywhere. And we are just activating mega murder mode. It's all going to be fine. Fall back. Reload. Keep pushing on. No, no, no. No shooting Carrington, please. Because he can proper die. He's got his own health bar. Excuse me. Did you just... 
I feel like someone just ran straight past character. But for the time being, I'm being deemed the, uh, yes, more significant risk. So, there we go. He's alive, but we're not done with the escape yet. Now we're going out into the cable car. Over here, kid. I'm a present for you. A present, he says. What have you got for me, buddy? Oh, it's a sniper rifle. How did you know? Meaning, naturally, of course, we've got a big dramatic explosion-y conclusion where I've just got to use my... Okay, no! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, it's all turned out to be fine in the end. Take you out. Yes, obviously, uh, that could cause problems for your hearing if a big rocket goes off and... No! Keep healing, by the way. I've got a full med kit. Okay, that's the first set of guys dead. Uh, reload. Just uh, drop down. Don't drop too fast. The full damage of this game is uh, slightly ludicrous if you drop down too quickly. So, okay. Drop down there. Beautiful. I'm guessing there's more trouble yet. Cover Carrington. Okay, he's got his health back, but bloody hell, there's going to be more trouble. No. Please don't run in front of me when I'm trying to save your life, Carrington. Need to survive. There's also... Oh, there's trouble over there. Okay, this is fine. Go. Nice. Right there. Okay, go back over to this. Watch out for people up on the ridge. Cave. Excellent. You hide in the cave. Watch out who they... Bloody hell. Do I have any more grenades, by the way? I do. Oh, cock me. No. Got a little bit of uh, health. No. Reload. Carrington, please don't die in the meantime. It's all fine. They don't rush you too hard. Which is fine. I'm guessing we're about due for another one up on the ridge about now. Seriously, who looked at this and said, oh yeah, you couldn't sell this in 2022? You could. It looks fine. Okay, when you say behind us, oh bloody hell, how behind us are we talking? Right, you need to, to die, buddy. It's all under control. Oh good, we've got... No, no, that's a friend. That's Jones. She's cool. Not a problem. Ammo running more than a bit low, by the way. Jones, please take out some of these stupid losers. That's you, Dad. And you as well. Okay, I now need a new gun. Um, shotguns. That'll do. No, this gun. That'll do. Okay, so I'm now on gun duty. Just give myself up to full health first. You guys fix the chopper. I'm going to have some fun with my new toy. Do not stand there, please. And now I have got a great big gun and everything is sexy. Just keep your eyes out. They will attempt to flank you. 100%, they'll give it a go. And they will eat your health bar for breakfast. So just be aware of that. But yeah, one good solid hit will take him down. I swear I saw one over there. I did as well. Okay, need to come out in order to heal. And then, no. No, no, no. Jay, you can't heal there. There we go. Delay the enemies. Off. On the helicopter. Let's flip it. Go. And that's the escape complete. Because this game was a work of cocking art. So you had yourself, you know, a good sneaky section, a really good blasty section. And in the middle, a whole bunch of sections you could do however you wanted. Proper freedom to approach open-ended issues in the manner of your choosing. Cocking gold star game. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This here is 13 Remastered, by which I mean the original 13, with a trio of numbers and a notepad document changed to slightly different numbers. And with that, I have remastered 13 better than two professional dev teams managed across several years. So, basically, yes, 13 is an amazing game. To be honest, I'm confused as to why they even remastered it at all. Just... Look at this footage. It's fine. In fact, it's better. It looks nicer. The version that is 20 years older than two attempts have managed. O13, you absolute star. You, buddy. You deserve the outro. So as a result of that, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the exceptional 13. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Oh, also, apparently you've either got a girlfriend or a daughter. Hopefully That's a girlfriend. girlfriend. Really, hopefully a girlfriend. No! Stop walking around! Just, just stay still! Just, just stay still! I st don't know! Stop doing laundry! Tight. There we go! <laughs> How are you so bad at escaping from prison?